Reasons why to keep persisting with dating. In this video, I'll explain the reasons why you should keep persisting with dating if you're currently single and desperate for love. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. This video will be focusing on people who are looking for serious relationships rather than casual fun only. I remember being hopelessly single and out of luck with dating. I was on every dating app, I cast my net wide and became more open-minded. I got lots of matches, I dated quite often, but it never felt right. It wasn't the right connection or chemistry. And of course I was rejected a lot along the way. Then one fateful Sunday, I matched with a beautiful woman on a dating app and just instantly we had chemistry and hit it off. We met up a week later for our first date and the rest is history. As I record this, we're approaching our one year anniversary of that first date. The man I have become and how much I've grown in this period is amazing. I thank her immensely for being the inspiration behind drastic positive change. We've been through so much together as a couple despite only being together a year and yet become better as a result. She's my lover, my best friend, and someone I see a future with. I'm 36 years of age and I've had terrible relationship with the wrong partners in the past. And as I'm sure you're aware, you will never be good enough for the wrong person. Some may think I'm old. Some may think I'm young. The point is here, before I met my partner, I kept on persisting with dating, especially when all hope was lost. When other people told me I was done and should give up. When people said I missed the boat. When others told me and insisted maybe you should go back to that toxic ex of yours. And I don't share my relationship now to brag or show off, but instead hopefully to inspire you the viewer to keep trying if you're currently in an almighty slump or a dry spell and can't get a date. Here are valid reasons why to keep persisting with dating. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. When you're single, you feel hopeless and the spotlight's on you, almost like you're the only person on earth going through this, when it's not true because you're not alone. Now you may sit there and say, but SEG, I really am the only person alone. All my friends and family have someone, I'm married and have kids. Then there's me, single, miserable and lonely. No one goes out anymore, especially with single people, meaning I spend so much time doing nothing. I hear you, but when you actually pan out and see the bigger picture, your friendship group and family are not a massive statistic on society. There are a very small percentage of people you happen to know, and there are actually plenty of single people. In fact, in London alone, did you know on average 100 people sign up to dating apps online every hour minimum, men and women. You can do the math of how many that is a day, a week, and so on. Dating is often referred to as a numbers game because it involves meeting and interacting with people in order to find a compatible partner. In the dating world, there are many factors that can influence whether two people are compatible like shared interests and life goals. Of course, it's not just about quantity, quality is important. It's important to be selective and focus on meeting people who are likely to be a good match for you. This means being clear about your goals, values, priorities when you seek out those people and see if they share your values. Dating is a numbers game because it involves putting yourself out there meeting a lot of people in order to find the right compatible match for you. Yes, it can be challenging and very frustrating at times as well. But with persistence and a positive attitude and an end goal, I believe it is firmly possible for you to find the right, healthy, compatible partner for yourself. And take comfort in the fact that you're not alone in this process. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. Single people might end up playing the comparison game where they see other successful couples and wonder if they can replicate the same. But that's never going to work. Everyone is unique. Here are some pieces of advice I received 
from successful couples who tried to advise me when I was dating. Why don't you sign up to yoga? I met my wife at yoga. Well, I did, and all the women there were for a class only, not a date. You can find loads of women in bars. Almost any woman I met on a night out was not my type for a serious relationship. Just go on to Tinder. I met my wife on Tinder. Tinder's current reputation for dating success nowadays isn't very positive. I think you should consider dating someone with children. That's totally not my thing. Perhaps you need to go speed dating. Again, not my thing. Why don't you ask girls out at the gym? Girls who are in the gym training are not there to be picked up. The point is what works for some doesn't work for others. But I know that my love story, how I met my partner, was pretty much fate. I just moved into my new apartment and I matched with her late the next day. She had literally signed up to a dating app that day and I was one of the first few matches. She had also come out of a long relationship that was toxic and I had a lot of experience about toxic relationships. We bonded and connected straight away. We actually met in London and when I first saw her in person walking around the corner, her beauty took my breath away. I just knew there was something special about her. How your dating story is going to pan out is unique and special. Keep persisting, but never try to recreate somebody else's story. It's not going to work out. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. I know you might think all the good ones are taken, no one's right for you, but actually it's easier to meet people now than ever before. I remember when dating apps first started, there was a stigma around them. If you were doing online dating, you were desperate. But in the past few years, I've been to countless weddings where the couples met on a dating app. My brother's getting married this year. He met his wife-to-be on a dating app. Since the pandemic and lockdowns, more and more people have signed up to dating apps. Desperate for love. The stigma's gone. It's normal now for two people to meet online, connect, and start dating. I'm not saying you need to use just dating apps. Try whatever works for you. Remember, everyone has a unique love story. My current girlfriend and I had no mutual friends. We lived at different parts of the city and had quite different interests. Basically speaking, I sincerely doubt we would have ever crossed paths had it not been for online dating. I have a friend who thinks online dating is a waste of time. He wants to go out to bars to meet women. He's tall, attractive and successful, but hopelessly single, extremely lonely and seems to attract the same type of women when he goes to nightclubs and bars. The last woman he dated was so toxic and horrible to him that he was almost put off dating entirely as a result. Guess where he originally met her? In a nightclub, blind drunk. Listen, you don't have to do dating apps. You don't have to be on a dating website. You can attend single events. You can use your Instagram, social media, slide into DMs, whatever, however. I'm telling you this now, it is easier to meet people nowadays than ever before. If you're getting value for this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. Listen, you can blame society, the internet, men, women, modern culture, as much as you want for your dating predicament. But I believe it's all down to you it's your choice and your call. 
For me, I was confident with dating. I was determined to meet somebody and kept going despite so many rejections, droughts, dry spells, loneliness, and setbacks. My partner had never tried internet dating before. She was nervous, but still had the courage to give it a go. We would never have met had that not been the case. It kind of terrifies me how had she never made that decision, where would we have been right now? Maybe single, maybe dating someone else, who knows? It is all down to you. You can give up, feel sorry for yourself, keep making excuses, and as soon as you know it, another year goes by and you're getting the same old results and you'll feel miserable because of it. Or you can make that change, put yourself out there, cast a wider net, try being more open-minded, and maybe, just maybe with your persistence, you meet someone and have your life completely changed for the better. At the end of the day, it's your call.